Comparing properties of quadratic functions given in different forms. So we're going to have tables, equations, and graphs that we need to compare. So we are going to be asked to answer questions about these two functions. So first we want to know what is the vertex of function one. Find the vertex in a table. We needed to look at the y values and see where they repeat. Um, and so we have 31, then we have 16, 7, 4, and 7. And there's our first y values that repeat. And then um, the vertex is the ordered pair that's in between those two repeated values. So our vertex will be at 2, 4. And then we're asked to find the vertex of function 2. Function 2 is an equation, so we're going to have to do uh, some calculations. We'll remember that our axis is symmetry gives us the x value of the vertex, so we're looking for the opposite of b over 2a. So a in this problem is 3, and b is 12. So we're going to take the opposite of 12, and 2 times 3. So now we have negative 12 divided by 6. So the axis of symmetry will be x equals negative 2. So now with um, x equaling negative 2, we're going to find the y value of the vertex, and so that's asking us to find f at negative 2. So we'll go ahead and plug in negative 2 to our function. So 3 times negative 2 squared plus 12 times uh, negative 2 plus 13. And when you're plugging in the vertex, you should see that these first two values um, are opposites and doubled. So that's just a way to check as you do your work. So negative 2 squared will be positive 4. So 3 times 4. And then we have 12 times negative 2. So that will be negative 24 plus 13. So now we have 12 minus 24 plus 13. And so you can see that they are, uh, the middle value is double the first one, and they are opposites. So 12 minus 24 gives us negative 12 plus 13, which will give us 1. So the vertex of the equation is at negative 2, 1. So now we're asked to determine which function has a smaller minimum value. So smaller minimum value just means that we're looking at the y value again. So I want to know which y value is smaller. So I'm comparing 1 and 4. So function 2 has the smaller y value. So we'll go ahead and use function 2. And what is that smaller minimum value? So we're just looking at the y value of function 2, and that will be 1. So... We have a new problem. We've got a graph and an equation. So again, we're comparing the vertex of function one. So if I want the function um, vertex of a graph, I look at where there is a turn. And so the, fun the parabola turns when it reached um, positive seven here. So at two seven, the function turned. So that will be the vertex of function one. And then again, it's asking us to find the vertex of an equation. So now we have A equals and B equals. A is negative 3, B is negative 12. So finding that axis of symmetry, X is the opposite of B over 2A. So we've got the opposite of negative 12. And then we've got 2 times negative 3. And I'll go ahead and clean that up here. Must be negative 12. So now that we can read what we're doing, the opposite of negative 12 is positive 12. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So the axis of symmetry, again, is negative 2 in this problem. So we'll go ahead and find the y value of the vertex. So the y value of the vertex is what's the function at negative 2? So we're going to take negative 3 times negative 2 squared minus 12 times negative 2 minus 7. And so now we have negative 3 times 4, because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, plus 24, minus 7. So we have negative 12 plus 24, minus 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. 
So our vertex for function two will be at negative two, five. Let's go ahead and put that information in here. We need two and seven. And then we need negative two and five. So now we want to know which function has a larger maximum value. So again, we compare the vertices of our two functions, the larger maximum value. So it looks like we got seven and we have five. So the larger value is going to belong to function one and that value is seven. So again, when you are um, comparing properties of quadratic functions, um, find the vertex of each function, use axis of symmetry and substitution to find the vertex for all your equations. Uh, in your graph, you want to find where did it turn and that will be your vertex. And then in your table, Look for those repeating y values.